Hi guys, Harun here from Enterprise DNA, uh, bringing you guys a solution to problem of the week number four. Uh, first of all, a massive thank you to all of you who participated. Uh, fantastic to see. We, we actually had a, quite a big turnout this week. Um, yes, yeah, so awesome to see. Well, we are Enterprise at DNA, massive believers in, in getting your hands dirty um, and just practice, practice, practice. The, the challenge is, the problem of the week is all geared towards putting putting what you've learned into practice. We, we, we don't think there's a faster way to learn Power BI than, than rolling your sleeves up and getting stuck into it. Um, the ask this week was, was to take some summarized data um, and basically create a daily fact table, but using Power Query. So I, I know we've got quite a lot of content currently available on Enterprise DNA that, that covers something along these lines using Ducks. Um, for those of you who've taken the certification, you, you, you'll know one of the key modules is the budget in um, budget in analysis. Um, and in that, that, there is a particular ask in one of the modules to split some budget data down to daily granularity. Um, so get stuck into actual power query. So I, I, I think what I found interesting was from the solutions that actual, actually most people took, took the same approach. Now, <clears throat> there, there was a few details that, you know, were, were down to each of the indi individual users preferences, but overall, I think most of you tackle the solution in a similar way. Um, and, and I'll kind of break it down how, how I tackled it. Um, so starting with, with the, with the summarized view, um, first thing I did was just just make sure that th these are in a date format and I can get these into a decimal number should should do it for now um, and then the first step was to basically get a duration between these so I, I want to know that the, the number of days but between the start date and the end date um, and that can help me get the daily values I'm going to need for my cost consumption and emission. So if I just go to add column, um, like I said, that there's always multiple ways to, to do this in, in Power BI, but this is just the way that, that I did it. So I want a duration column. <clears throat> and all that's going to be is end date minus my start date. Um, there we go. And again, I'll just change that. So it's a whole number. Uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, awesome. So, so we've got the duration. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to be able to create now my one column of dates. So every single date between the 1st of the 10th and the 30th of the 11th, um, respectively, in one column. So how do I do that? easiest way for, for me to kind of think about is all I want to do is I want to be able to get a list of dates between these two values so I know I can quickly create a list if I just turn this into a whole number so dates always have a, a an int uh, equivalent within Power BI so all I've now got left to do is add a column a custom column so and I want to call this my brand new date um, Curly brackets because we want to create a list and we want it to start date, run it all the way up till end date, and we finish it off with a curly bracket. Now that should give me an option. It's given me that list. I can expand to new rows or extract the values. In this instance, I just want to expand that to new rows. What I can do now to just check that this worked is just convert these back to date. Um, probably an expensive operation but ju just to paint the picture um, there you go so we've got listing out first of the 10th it's going all the way up to the 30th of the 10th 30th of the 11th there we go so the first of the 10th to the 30th of the 11th seems seems to be working so awesome I can now get rid of these two columns because I no longer need them but just remove them um, and I've now got a nice date, cost, consumption, emission. Uh, and from here, it, it's simple as saying I need 
this divided by my duration to get my daily cost so just need to add a custom column and in order for me to do that I will just name this daily cost cost and all I need to do is cost divided by duration and if I do that I'm getting cost divided by duration looks about right so I then need to do that again for, for the other three columns so for consumption and emission so once I've got my, my daily columns it's just simply you know it's just taking the original consumption dividing it by the duration I, I can then get rid of all these columns that I don't need uh, yep I can remove 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 them columns and I've now literally got a daily cost, a daily consumption, and a daily emission. I could even rename them just as cost, emission, uh, cost, consumption, and emission. And, I, and I've got this single date table here that I can now connect up to a date table and be able to do standard time analysis. Um, and, and that was pretty pretty much the the, the problem um, covered. Uh, I think from the solutions I reviewed, uh, I think. There was a particular comment on Melissa's entry that I wanted to to just highlight, and that is deliberate written more M bringing steps together. However, if you examine the code code more closely, it's more accurate to state that I copied and pasted repeating patterns or nested steps generated by the UI. Because why write M if you can have UI do most of the work for you? And and I think that's a key point. Um, so some of the steps I've covered, um, I've repeated multiple times just to kind of paint the picture, but it, you could easily bundle up them daily calculations in, in, into one step uh, as Melissa's done here and I'd highly recommend that if, if you can get that to work. Um, yeah, in, in general, I, I thought all, all the entries were excellent. Um, and like I said, I, I don't think there was the variety we, we, we've seen in, in other problem of the weeks um, in terms of approach. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys all, all had a fun time um, having a play around with it um, and I hope hopefully it was useful to you all thank you all very much for your time um, and see you all on the next next problem of the week thanks all cheers bye bye